Well, it was Singapore Day in Sydney today, and some 6,200 Singaporeans showed up to eat and make merry. Speaking at the event, Deputy Prime Minister Teo Chi Hien urged them and other overseas Singaporeans to stay connected to the country. They may be away from home, but the familiar sights, sounds and tastes of Singapore proved irresistible. Queues started forming outside the Singapore Day venue in Sydney before the event started at 10.30 a.m. When we get together, you know, for a meal, we always talk about Singapore and what Singapore is doing around the world so that Singaporeans can benefit. Currently, there are over 50,000 Singaporeans residing in Australia. Hawkers from Singapore were also flown in to provide a taste of home to those at the event. We got the chili, it's a bit different, so we mod we put more like more more onions and we modify it. When they taste our food, actually they, they feel very home. And Australia-based Singaporeans, some of whom flew in specially for the event, formed long queues despite the hot weather. <laughs> Also a touch of glamour as famous faces turned up to entertain the crowd. The event also provided updates on Singapore, including the latest public housing initiatives and career opportunities. Well, this is part of the globalised world. Uh, there are more Singaporeans who work and study overseas. And uh, it's also because uh, more Singaporean companies are overseas. But we hope that all the Singaporeans who are overseas will stay connected, will still feel a part of Singapore. The Singapore Day event, organised by the Overseas Singaporean Unit, was previously held in cities like New York and Shanghai. The next Singapore Day will be held in London in April next year.